All day, money, power, respect, three the hard way. What up, YouTube? Welcome back to Three the Hard Way TV. I'm Dion. I'm in here with my brothers. Well, I'm not in here. They they wherever they at. They quarantine. <laughs> Six feet. Uh, Six feet. <laughs> we got Ken. We got real. Uh, email as well as the phone number is below. You got any questions, any comments for us? Leave them in the comment section. Um, I'm on today's show. We got an email. The question is the father of my four children is set to get out of prison in a few months. He will be released, do house arrest at my home. I thought it was a great idea at first, but I am quickly regretting it. We broke up about a week before he got locked up and he has done five years. I thought him coming to stay with me was love, but mainly for our children. I've changed my mind and don't want him to come and have zero interest in him. What should I do? Make my children happy or suffer? Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's, it's definitely a serious topic. It's just like, wow, though, like, she said it, it was love. Like, she thought him coming to live with her was love. But what I what I take from it, bro, you know, he probably been writing them prison love letters. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to change. When I get home, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. We're going to be a family again. Me, you, and the four girls or the four boys or whatever they got. You know what I'm saying? Are we going to make it happen? I'm going to marry you. And then she probably thinking like, damn, this nigga been gone five years. I probably been out here, fuck the nigga up the block, fuck the nigga in the corner store, Downstairs. fuck the nigga at work. I don't like uh, this nigga no more. And yeah, I definitely. Uh, it's, it's getting close to that. You know what I'm saying? It's time. The wheels is turning. And yeah. yeah. She definitely, um. I mean, some of us was right. She had a four piece about her, boy. <laughs> <laughs> she she had a young four piece. I mean, but I can understand people move on five years away from somebody is, you know what I'm saying? She probably was emotionally connected, like you said, through those letters. But once the physical date got closer, she started remembering all those ass whoopers he probably was giving her if he was being <laughs> like this. <laughs> I don't get serious. Okay, yeah, so. The physical, she got thought, got to thinking he coming home. She probably don't want to be tied down, and um, man, it depends on like how long, how old the kids, like how long you have been with him before he got there. And one thing I can say is people do grow and move on, so maybe you don't want them there. But I say remember that you do got the four kids by him. People do change. Maybe you get the need to, you might need to get to know him all over again. Plus, you might be all that he got getting out of there. He might really need your help. Um, you might really need your help and support when he get out. So I say help him and support him. You ain't got to jump in a relationship with him. And you know what I'm saying? When he get out, you know, give him, bro, set a date. Bro, bro, you know fuck all that, bro. We all saw baby boy. What happened when <laughs> Snoop got out? <laughs> you know, what happened when Snoop got out of jail, bro? He wanted some pussy. He thought he was going to get right back in that thing and it was going to be a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. as, the, as the little boy in that motherfucker talking about, get off my mom. <laughs> so, come on, man. He he hey. he, he going to want a relationship. Go go ahead, go ahead, brother Ken. As a man who was once in that situation okay. several times. Several Not times? Once, several times. Preach. I feel like them old fetish, she still got love for him because that's a that's a kid's father. But like like y'all said, what it was, he came home and on, he on his way. He on his way? Yeah. And what it is is she don't feel nothing. She 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 probably not into him like that no more. She probably not emotionally attached to him 
and she doing her. What it is, somebody else got her attention. She doing her, and she not going to be able to move how she want to move him now on house arrest staying with her. Exactly. I agree. It's going to be like, it's like going to be a control thing, like, because when I first, when I was, when I was about to get ready to, to be released from prison, my son, mom, told me I could parole her. Right. It was like six months, you know, you got to do it six to nine months. You got to find a whole site six to nine months before you release. And right. like my seven months, six months, she like, yeah, you could come here. I got like 45 days left. She called a counselor, tell him like, oh no, he can't parole here. They called me down to the office. And when they called me uh over to, over to she called me down, like, Kim, I, I gotta talk to you. Uh, about what? About to go home. What you need to talk to me about? I don't, I don't need nothing. And she was like, uh, Miss Latoya, she did de um she denied the whole site. She said she don't want you to come there. I'm like, you know, you know, like, you know, like, we, like when you a kid and, and you want that favorite toy for Christmas and, mm -hmm. and, and, and you open it up and it's a sweater. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> so it dropped like, like, boom. Oh, man. I waited, I waited. You know, I was sad. I waited. I go in the I go in the cell like up, come back out the next show, go right to the phone. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let's see. And it ain't just now I'm out for roll, so she said I can't come that cook over and call her. <laughs> oh, hey Tink, this her. Hey Tina, how you doing? Hey girl, I don't want you though. Hold on. Yeah. Toy, that was you to now my my whole site for. Oh, man, you just can't. I, I got a boyfriend. It wouldn't be right. You you just can't come here. I should have told you. I got a man though. It, it is what it is. You can find somewhere else to go. Ah oh, damn. Straight like that. Remember all that. Keep that energy when I get out there. I think what it be too though. Like like just like in that situation. Like like they feel bad you getting out and they want you. You know, saying to be okay. But then they start thinking about it. Like you've been gone a long time, buddy. You gotta move on. And. She'd be crazy. How, how, how that made you feel the way she did you, though? Like, was you salty? Like, man, I should Yeah, I was fun. salty. I was salty because no one that's my did, son, did, mom. Did, did you think about going mom, right? Did you th did you think about going right back in when you got out? Nah, hell no. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I like, fuck that. Hey, I'm, like, I get, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, I got to get this in the motherfucking way first. You hear me? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta sow my my real oats. You know? <laughs> well, I do stuff stupid. Fuck that. Hey, look, yeah, man. Though, I was, I was salty as hell though. Like, I was see shit though. Like, I was devastated. I'm like, you know, this supposed to be my son, mom. You know, I supposed to got her back. She supposed to have my back no matter what. And you know, she she did what she did. I felt like she turned her back on me. She crossed me. You know. Right. And then on a lot of them, like, I really couldn't get mad because I'm like, okay, I did do same thing. He did five years straight. Like, I did do five years straight. I'm like, shit, life goes on. She moved on, you know? Mm -hmm. Got the Bro. tattoo right here. You know, this right here was a cover. This was her name. I covered it up. Life goes on. Life goes on, you know. Look, and my and my my opinion, bro. Like, I get, I get all of that shit. I get what she's saying. I get the feelings ain't that no more. But if you've been corresponding with this nigga, right, or or guy, you know what I'm saying, whatever, you've been corresponding with this man, right, for five years. I know it probably wasn't right away. It probably wasn't immediately. He giving you all these love letters. You putting money on the phone. You know what I'm saying? You you doing video chats? You doing um 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 what what's the shit called? Commentary. You, you commissary? You you doing all of this shit, right? And you done fell in love with these words because this is the way he got you in the beginning. He got you this way in the beginning. 
and now he got you this way again. But the only thing, only difference is he's not there in the physical. So I, you got those four kids by him. I'm going to say at least let the nigga go ahead and parole them. When he get home or, or, and, and y'all go ahead and get a chance, talk to him and say, look, man, I just want you here for the motherfucking kids, bro. I got a motherfucker outside already discuss with him that I'm going to come, that you coming here. I'm going to spend the weekends with him. You and the kids could be here on some alone time. I just had them for five years. I'm going to let you catch up with them, but I'm going to do my thing. So by the time your house arrest over and you get uh movement or whatever the case may be, you get you gotta get out. the fuck on. You gotta get the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? Cause I gotta live. Mama gotta have a life too, Jody. Ain't that what she said? <laughs> so <laughs> fuck all that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? You're all not right. obligated to wait on no motherfucker no five years, man. And I, I'm I'm sorry you had to go through that, kid. But ain't no mo no no motherfucker gotta wait on you because you made your choice. And she made hers, goddammit. So it ain't, hey. it ain't she ain't obligated to wait on nobody, man. Hey, so I mean his skills drastically improved while he was in that. So I know he was killing her with the Shakespeare and all that. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I'll Hey, fun. hey, hey, before you finish, I, I got niggas in jail. You got niggas in jail. We know them niggas buy them love letters, bro. And, yeah, they, that's what I'm saying. and they recycle that shit, bro. We already yeah. know the game. The little fake drawn out pictures and stuff. <laughs> exactly. But, uh, <laughs> but I think she should go ahead and let him parole there. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, give him an ultimatum. You know what I'm saying? Let, don't even give him an ultimatum. Just give him a day. Like, look, you know what I'm saying? We're going to do this in two week installments. You got unlimited access to your kids. But you free now, so you need to get your stuff rolling. You got sixty days because anyway, we already know the parole office gonna be on this back. You gotta get a job. You gotta do this. You gotta do that, right? And I'm pretty sure. Now, I mean, it, it's a slight chance, maybe. But if she got a four piece by the man. She ain't got no boyfriend. I ain't too many niggas out there taking a four piece dog. Ain't nobody taking a four piece trying to make a family out of this. A nigga that need a nigga that need a place to stay. Yeah, him that came out of him that's coming out of jail. Shit. Ain't no other nigga go uh, that's why I said, how old is these kids? You know what I'm saying? He been going to five piece. So we gotta at least say the oldest one, at least seven, uh, at least nine. You know what I'm saying? At least nine. No, we in fact, if he, no, no he, be at least if, he, if he been gone five years, right? The youngest, the youngest one gotta be gotta at least be five. six. Right. Five so that means as easy. Right. So either they step six, seven, eight, nine, you know what I'm saying? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever, or seven, eight, nine, ten. They got to be steps or something like that. So I'm pretty sure they ain't seventeen and shit. But get a man a chance. Hey, I don't know too many niggas is taking a four piece though. Fuck that. Like she, she gonna be staying right in the house with them too. So she might get ready. They are built in family. Okay, look, man. We got our opinion. Me, me and real never been. Me and real never been fives. Got them handcuffs in the lockup room. You feel Hell me? No. <laughs> that's the that's the first. That's the first as we been. You know what I mean? we we ain't gotta go see no judge. No, none of that shit. Ken, right now, I want you to make a case for those guys that's trying to get parole to their BM house, bro. Why should they be them do it, bro? Ladies, ladies, ladies. I will with jail on my enemy. <laughs> not, only, not only does jail tear you down physically, it tears you down mentally too if you're not strong enough. Being confined, mm -hmm. being confined to a cell 20 hours out of out of a day, out of 24 hours a day. Or maybe 18 hours, you got some prisons, you know, let you out a little more. So, hey, you in the cell 18 hours a day, you sharing the cell with another man, another individual, another human being. 18 hours a day, you in the cell with this guy. You being told when to eat, when to sleep. You on a time, you on you, everything you do is. You own the correctional time. They control you. It's like you're a robot. 
you got to do whatever they say. You got to you gotta walk to the lunch to the lunch house chow line. You got to go to library, healthcare visits. Abound by their rules, walking in tools with your hands behind your back or with your hands to the side. Like, there's no life for no man, you know. And I'm glad I, I see, I made a lot of stupid mistakes when I was younger, but I'm glad I see, like, like, and I, like, I just want y'all to, like, you know, have a heart, you know, not seeing you owe nobody nothing because y'all don't owe nobody none. When he decided to do the crime, me too. Decided to do the crime, you know the consequence behind everything you do. You lost your your opportunity. You lost your rights to have say so on anything or govern anything that has to do with your family. So y'all don't owe them nothing, but you know, on the simple strength of that's your kid's father. Just have a heart. Let the man come there, man. He can sleep on on the floor. On the basement, I would have been happy with that. I ain't in prison. But it's been five you years, know? bro. You gonna want some pussy, bro. You gonna yeah, want the, some pussy, the case. bro. That's the case, but if she's standing strong and she telling me we ain't known that, right. if she moved on, I gotta respect that. Well, we don't know if she moved on because she ain't, she ain't say she moved on. She just said, like, she don't really want him now. You know what I'm saying? And she, she could have been alone this whole five years and been like, you know what? It's just me and my kids, and I'm rolling like that. But I mean, right. I like I say, I, like we say, I ain't never been in there. But if I had to make a case for the man, you know what I'm saying? I would say, just look at this. Everybody deserves second chances. And sometimes that second chance requires somebody giving you a second chance to get back on your feet. And sometimes your blessing is in helping other people. So you might want to you know what I'm saying, reach that hand out and help him to get to where he's trying to get to because he could easily get out here, turn back to the streets, and your kid's father gone again. You know what I'm saying? Over one, one little small circumstance to create a whole tornado effect. You know what I'm saying? He don't come to your house, so he try to go to one of his boys' house. His boy's out in the street, so now he needs to get out of the street to make a little money. And you know what I'm saying? All that is taking him away from his – away from his kids, which ain't your fault. It, it'll be his decision that he make. But sometimes people need somebody to help push them, nudge them in the right direction. And that could be you. And like I said, when when he get out, let him come there, set ground rules, and hold him to a standard. Because look, he's already lived a structured lifestyle in jail. So now he needs to get out and somebody teach him how to live a structured lifestyle on the outside. And that could be you. Yeah, and, and look, I... I don't agree, like, you know, because what I'm getting from the question is, is that she's debating whether or not she has to go back into a relationship with him. Oh, yeah. Keep it to where it was. You said y'all broke up a weeks prior or whatever it was prior to him being arrested. Keep that same energy. You know what I'm saying? I know you, you can love somebody but not be in love with somebody. You know what I'm saying? And, and right now, at this point, he has nothing to offer you, but he has everything to offer those children. You know what I'm saying? And he wants to be a positive role model. So I would allow, if I were you, Miss Lady, I would allow that so that they could spend time with their father. Because kids, there's a lot of kids missing that quality time with their father. Because me and myself growing up, I never had those quality moments with my father. I had those moments with my uncles. You know what I'm saying? I I wished and prayed and shit like that for those type of moments with my father, but I ne I never got to experience them at all. Under under no circumstance, you know what I'm saying? I remember a couple of things, maybe until I was five. But how much stuff can you remember before five? You you really can't. You know what I'm saying? Because you know they say the 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 the, the brain. It really is uh, uh, the sponge the most from like four to twelve or some shit like that. I don't know the exact numbers, but you know, you I know you know what I'm talking about. But yep. if, if you if them kids can't absorb him teaching little shit, I don't give a fuck if it's tying a shoe. He might tie a shoe a different way from the way you tie, but they able to get it. You know what I'm saying? Let him have that 
but also explain to them you need your fucking happiness. You know what I'm saying? Don't be, don't get yourself stuck in a fucking situation because you feel like that's the status quo, like you have to do it. I, I ain't saying fuck the nigga, but fuck the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Do what it takes. <laughs> do, I know this shit sounds funny. Do what it takes to make those children happy because that's what we fail in that as parents because we put our happiness first. We, we didn't live our life already. Only responsibility we got is to make sure those kids are safe, man. And I say let them parole there. Go kick it with your little boy toy on the weekend. Let him hide a house to himself. And and you know what I'm saying? Uh, put the ground rules down. If you don't, if you think you'll have some bitches in there or whatever, put some cameras up. Tell us I had no bitches in my house. Yeah. Or 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 maybe, you know, this is my last point. Or maybe I'm thinking that, you know, saying she said they broke up before he went in. And then all while he was in there, he was hitting up with the uh with everything he had. The and now she's shit. Fit. Right, and now she fearing that when he get out, he not going to be that guy that was on the paper. She thinking now, oh, my God, two weeks before he went in, I remember how it was. He ain't changed. He going to be the same. And, you know what I'm saying, think the whole time they was in jail, he was in jail, it's kind of like he was trying to date her mentally. So now she being thrown into a physical situation where she probably kind of feared it. So, yeah, just set those boundaries like we said. And if it's somebody else, just let them know. Um, like we don't know this guy. Um, I don't know, he might jump off the deep end, who knows? But you got to set boundaries, but at least try to help the man. And, and if it don't work, look, try for a week or two. If it don't work, you can always fall back, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to keep him there forever, but send I, him back. I, I don't even know what the, 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 um, like, like, what would the, what would the, how would you be able to send him back? Like that's what I'm saying. I, I don't know how it works. Right? Like, how would that work? Like after two weeks, when she been, when she had to sneak in the bathroom, like yo, how that work? Hey, y'all so, need. Hey, hey, look, she she <laughs> y'all need to come get this motherfucker. <laughs> yo, <laughs> when you yeah, parole, so yeah, when you parole to somebody's house, the um, the parole officer be in contact with you anyway because it's like you liable. It's like when you parole to somebody's house, you on house arrest. It's basically saying you just you free you free. And right. But what what if this person say, oh, you know what, I don't want them there no more? All she gotta do, cause a parole officer go tell her, like, if anything happened or whatnot, here, you gotta contact me because he paroled into your house. It's like she accountable for him. So all she gotta do is call the parole officer to the parole officer, like, man, it ain't working out, she don't want him here. And they come to get us there, taking them back to state. Do, do they gonna, get they gonna take them back to, to prison? Yeah. If he Damn. Can't find oh, back. he can't find nowhere else to go. Yeah, if he can't find nowhere else to go, they taking them back. But some people yeah. also won't even give you the chance to try to find nobody. They just send, they, they don't want to do all that. Hey. They send your ass right back. That's Dude. fucking crazy. Hey, bro, I, I, oh. I, I, hey, you just told me some. Some shit right now, bro. I, I never knew it was like that. Hey, hey, do they treat? I want to know. I know it ain't true, but I'm actually. Do they treat it like home health care? Since I'm adopting this motherfucker from jail, do I get a state check? Because the state was getting paid for your ass in jail. Do I get a state <laughs> check? Hell no, nah, you ain't getting no Hell no, nah, you ain't getting paid. <laughs> oh, no, nah, you, you can't live here, buddy. <laughs> Every time I go in the fridge, you in the kitchen. Every time, hey, every time I'm in the kitchen, you in the kitchen. Hey, I put some damn wood on that shit. (laughs) Ain't gonna be able to get the only thing he's gonna be able to give you is that link card, man. Wow. Wow. Hey, they jail ain't no joke, man. Okay, well, I I hope we were able to answer your question. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all got any questions for us, the email as well as the phone number is below. You can send your question in a text or you can send it in an email. We're we going to get back at you. You know what I'm saying? And any of you fellas, Ken, Real, y'all got some anything else in closing? No. No. Okay. No, nope. nothing in closing, just 
Keep it real on the outside, man. Keep it real. Miss Lady, God be with you and don't drop the soap. Thank you, oh, you know for what? watching. Hold on, hold on. Lady, Miss Lady, let us know the outcome. Exactly, my nigga. That's why you, that's why you here. Hey, and on top of that, Miss Lady, after you watch this show, write us back in and let you let us know what you think before he get out, and then we'll send some back. And then when he get out, we'll help counsel you through the situation. Let us know what's going on. We here for you. And uh, fuck all that shit he talking about. Just <laughs> let, <laughs> let us know when you send that nigga back to, to the prison. Or, or, or if he became a productive citizen, goddamn. We expect Bring him. him. We expect to hear from hey, you in 12 months. Hey, when you get out, send him on the show. Ooh. Send him on the show. Hey, that's a good one, Mom. Hey, we taking Zoom calls, man. Hey, <laughs> send him on the show. Hey, man, thank, thank y'all for watching. Keep them questions coming. Get this video a fucking thumbs up. All day, money, power, respect. Three the hard way.